Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and in today's video we are going to be playing Scrap Mechanic. Now, I've gotten a few requests to play Scrap Mechanic and I actually have, like, I didn't have any idea what this game was until I started looking at it and then I was like, whoa, this actually looks really, really cool. So, I haven't actually played it at all yet, I'm, I'm so excited to get into it and actually see how the game works and how it plays, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and, well actually, before we start a new game, Let's click on character and see. Oh, I, I see. So you can switch characters between, like, male and female characters. That's cool. New game. Uh, creative? Let's see. Terrain. Flat. We'll make it private just because, I guess. For our first, like, our first, like, you know, attempt at the game. Let's see. TC's World. No, not TC's World. That's, that's too, that's too simple. That's too simple. Um. <laughs> oh, I got one. Attempt to build a Jeep. That's what we'll call it. Settings. Let's see. Um. I think we're good. Let's go. See what happens. Now, I don't know if I'll be attempting to build a Jeep in this first episode, but the series... I feel like the series is going to be called Attempting to Build a Jeep, because we're going to try to see what we can do when we build a Jeep. Though, I, we may not attempt to build a Jeep at all, depending on what we can do. Okay. Hi, Mechanic. Welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Creative Mode. It's a great place to express your creativity and build the most amazing creations. Engineer? Architect? Booth? Everything you need is already conveniently stacked in your inventory. A great way to start is by opening the Mechanic's Handbook, which you'll find in your hotbar and following the instructions for how to build a vehicle. It'll help you get comfortable with the basic uh, building system and will give you a great foundation on which to build your scrap mechanic skills. Okay. Got it. Now, oh dear. All of the frame lag. I wonder if it's just kind of loading for the first time. <laughs> Holy crap. It's frozen. I've had an issue. It's not frozen anymore. I guess it's like first startup stuff, but oh dear, it's loading the world, I can tell it's loading the world, because it's fine FPS wise right now, but like, when you get into an area where it's not quite loaded yet, then it sometimes gets a little bit iffy, but I like the art style, the art style is very cool, it's very, um, I almost said progressive, but at the same time it's like, it's progressive, but it also feels classic at the same time, it kind of feels like something you'd see on like an N64, but at the same time, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like, you know, bad because of it. It doesn't feel dated or anything. Alrighty, let's see. How to play. Pretty obvious. Camera in and out. Alt plus in and out. Jump space bar. Sprint shift. Crouch control. And inventory. Hold and drag. Okay. Okay, so you get I to go to the inventory. Let's see what's in our, uh, nope. Resume. Press I to go, ooh, Wow. We have all the parts. A sensor. Oh, that looks like... Oh, that wheel looks like... like that tire looks like what you would like pull off of like a, uh, an old Willy's Jeep or something. The tread pattern does, anyway. What about this one? That's like... Commercial. Oh, no, that's like a mud terrain. Hell yes. A seat? Yes. Now. Uh, let's see. So, we scroll through our inventory like this. Ooh. Can hammer things. Yes. I don't really know what good that's doing us, but it's at least doing us something. Now, let's see. How to build a vehicle. All right, let's see. Place the lift on the ground and then build a base from the blocks on the lift as shown. Place the required bearings, wheels, driver's seat, and gas engine. Connect it all together using the connect tool. All righty, so let's see. We need, a, we need a base, or we need a lift, and then we need a base on the lift. So let's see. Lift. And then now, use up and down to elevate the lift. Ooh. Oh, I see how you, yes. So now, I just want to make it even, though. Oh, no, no, no. Can we destroy that? Please tell me we can. That's not how we do that. Oh, I see. 
Gotcha. This is going to be tricky to get used to because it's kind of Minecraft-ish, but it's Minecraft-ish with vehicles. So, like... Let's see... That's sort of kind of even. Not quite, but sort of kind of. There. Leave it right there. That's a huge vehicle. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but... <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yes. We've built something with wheels. I don't know if it's going to work, but we've built something with wheels, that's for sure. Let's see. Mechanics handbook. So now we need a gas engine. Oh. We need bearings. Hmm. <laughs> we need... Yeah, those wheels aren't going to roll. I just realized that. Yeah, those won't roll at all. There. Get these off. And it, sa it said bearings in the instruction manual. And I should know. All right. Bearing. 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 And bearing. And technically, it's funny because we're using a claw hammer to put those bearings on. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny, but it's so cool at the same time. Okay. Engine. Here. <laughs> seat. Nah, uh, we'll put the seat. Um, oops. No, no, no. How do you rotate it? Because that's not the direction the seat needs to go. Uh, oh, nope. We don't want to place it down. Up and down? Maybe? Oh, dear. Help. <laughs> Help. Handbook, please. Ooh. Yes. Now, I don't know what we do with that, but what I... Oh, that's the connect tool. Gotcha. Oh, so you connect these wheels to that engine. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. Woo! This is going to be ridiculous. Now, how do I rotate this seat? That's what I'm trying to figure out, because if we can rotate the seat, then we'll be able to actually legitimately drive this thing. Let's see. It just shows you putting the seat down, though. Like, it doesn't actually tell you how it rotates. Make sure all the connections... Are exactly as shown. Set all bearings to the correct rotation and start the engine. Oh dear. I wonder what will happen if I just turn the engine on. It doesn't really do anything. Okay, so we need to bring this back down and actually set it up properly this time. <laughs> oh, God. Take you and turn you off. We probably need a seat, to be honest. Actually. There. There. to rotate that way. Well, no, actually. Those need to rotate that way. But I don't know if it wants us to make the suspension. I tell you what, it, tell, it, it says you have to. It says you have to. So, I'm assuming that that means you have to. Oh, God. 
I'm assuming that that means you have to. So, take these off. Come on, then. Okay. Now. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, crap. Did it say the bearings had to be... Yeah, bearings underneath. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. No! Stupid! There. And I might as well do the other ones while I'm at it, and then... Get rid of that, get rid of that. Bearing there. One, two. One, two. One, two, and... Oh, God. One, two. There we go. Now, bearings on the outside. Good. And then now we can connect wheels and tires to them. Yes. Now, bring you down just a little bit. And then now we actually have to put the seat in it. Well, not quite put the seat in it yet. We have to connect the engine properly. Let's see. Oh, we have to have the seat on first, though. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> that's important. Okay, how the hell do you rotate this freaking seat? Options. Q? Oh, dude. Yes. Ha ha. Oh, damn. <laughs> so now we connect the seat to the engine. And then, let me just go in and make sure to see how we connect these bearings. So just the bearings at the actual wheels need to be connected to the... Well, no, no. Oh, I see. The wheel bearings need to be connected to the engine, yes. But, got a little connector tool. You're at the engine... You are at the engine as well. I wonder if we can make a rear-wheel drive vehicle. I wonder if we can drift it. Dude, that would be legit. That'd be insane if we could drift it. And then we need to connect the bearings at the front. If we skip ahead to the steering. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So... And now, make sure that these bearings go in the right direction, which should be, yeah, just forward, and then just make sure those go forward, which we're going to go ahead and make sure we do right now. Good, good. And then these two go the proper direction already, which is cool. And then for the ones for the steering... We have to... Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Now, for the ones for the steering, we have to make sure... Okay, so that they turn opposite of each other. That's how it shows it there, is them turning opposite of each other. So, is that what they already are? No. Wait. That needs to go that way. I think. Okay, I think. I think we've got it set. I think. So now... We'll bump it up to maximum. Because why not? <laughs> oh, remove the lift before using the... Dr right. Right. Lift removed. 
So let's see. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, we've <laughs> Oh dear! We've gone wrong! Uh... <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh my god! Well, part one of Let's Build a Jeep, I think... <laughs> hasn't really worked. It really, really, really hasn't worked. Um... <laughs> Our bearings disconnected themselves, apparently. Oh, I think I know what went wrong. I think. Like, I'm not totally... Totally... Specific, but... Okay. Now, take the lift away. No, actually. Put it on the lift. And then... Is it because I put bearings under the rear back here? Oh! Uh, well, we can remap that. It's okay. <laughs> we can remap that. It's okay. I guess... Did the rear not need them? Because it made... I bet you that's what it was. I bet you that's what it was. So now, all we gotta do is bearings here... And here... And then wheels and tires... Connect them back up. To the engine. And then make sure that one's going in the right direction. This one is going in the right direction now. Lift back down. Get rid of the lift. And now see what happens. Oh god! It's very fast! <laughs> it's very fast! We need a lift again. We need one badly. Now we can get rid of the lift. And... I was gonna say maybe reduce the power, but that's nonsense. We never do that. It wheelies... And it wheelies very easily. It... Oh, the steering! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. That... <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> as to why it doesn't go... <laughs> the right way. Oh, my! <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Well, we'll come back to this thing, and we'll fix it. We'll fix it, but... The first episode of attempting to build a Jeep hasn't really gone... Well, we've got some resemblance of a Jeep. It's got four-wheel drive, but that's about as far as it goes. But if you guys enjoyed this very first episode of Scrap Mechanic and want to see more, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos like this one every day in your inbox. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed.